everybody, this is Gina with GinasCraftingSpot.com and I just wanted to share a quick card for you today. Um, this is my first video, so just bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to hurry up and not take too long. So, okay, now to get started, I have already cut out my layers and this is going to be the base of my card, this Tempting Turquoise from Stampin' Up. Okay. And then I have cut it at four and a quarter across by um, 11. So when I fold it, it'll be four and a quarter by five and a half. So now to make the base of my card, I am just going to score this at five and a half with my Martha Stewart scoreboard. over it a couple times. Okay, and then there is my base. Ready to go. So next, I am going to take this pretty paper and this heart printed paper. These are cupcakes. And they are from Archivers from KI... KI Memories. Okay, so this is going to be my one of my um, layers, and this is four and a quarter by four. And then I have this smaller piece that's going to go on the bottom, and I'm going to scale up the edge, and that one is two by four. So first of all, I'm going to start with this little piece, and I'm using an EK Success. Um, border punch. I'm not sure the name of it. It doesn't say. I'm going to have to find out. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and what I do is just line it up in the back with where it should be starting. And then just line up the scallops. Whichever side you decide to go. And there we go. It's perfect. Okay, so then I'm just going to adhere that to the bottom. And then this piece is going to go here, and then I'm going to tie a ribbon around it. It's easier for me to see. So my head doesn't get in the shot. Um, okay, so here we have this, and then I'm going to be putting this large scallop, and, but three and a half inches from the Mini Monograms Cricut cartridge and a little circle cut at three. So it'll fit right there and go in the middle of my card. So first of all, let me just get paper tray ink, white snow, I think it's called satin ribbon. So what I'm going to do is just what um, Robin the Pink Stamper refers to as the cheater method. I'm going to just put my ribbon around and adhere it with just regular um, scotch tape in the back. So it's easier for me to tie the knot and nothing will move around on me. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this down onto my base and then I could show you the next part of it. going to add just another piece of the same ribbon and tie my knot. Try to get my tails pretty straight. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to take my scissors I use especially for ribbon, the way they stay sharp. Just trim up the tails. There 
and to live along. Okay, that's it with my bow. Here we go so far. And then I'm going to, the next step I'm going to do is to actually emboss my sentiment on this little white piece. Let's put a color behind it so you could see. Here I have my scratch paper. And I'm going to use this um, little embossing powder. It come in a, came in a pack like of 12 or 24 from Michael's quite a while ago. I don't know. If, I don't remember what brand it was. But anyway, it's, it's a brown color. So I am going to take my happy birthday stamp. And this is um, from TPC Studios. I think it was Hobby Lobby where I got it from. Anyway, this is how I store my clear stamps so I could see them. And then on each side, I don't know if you could tell, you could, um, you know what is in each CD case. So here's my happy birthday. It's going to go right on there. So I'm going to take my block. And I just have a dollar one from, I think my goals are Joanne or something, from the dollar section, Studio G, I think. Can't find my bigger one. So anyway, I'm just going to get ready here. Let me get my Versamark first. So I am going to go ahead and use my Versamark and ink up my stamp. Stamp it onto my little circle. I'll clean that in a minute. Then I'll get my embossing powder. Pour it on. So then, now that I have this, I could go ahead and emboss it with my embossing gun. And the good thing about the burst mark is it stays wet for a while, so I'll just get this over here. I don't have much space in my craft room. Okay, let's put that away. And here I have happy birthday, so pretty. Just wait for one second for that to dry. And meanwhile, I'm going to get my, instead of um, just the dimensionals, I have this big roll of foam tape that I found um, in my closet, in my craft closet actually. So I'm going to use this to adhere it to my card. I'm just going to use the ATG for the circle. And then I'll use the dimensionals for the scallop so it could pop up. And give it a little more dimension. So, let's see. Just cut some of this, and this is going to last me for a good long time. You know what? I'm going to put maybe two pieces on there. One on each side. So it could be even. bring back my card. Just take off the sticky backs. Then maybe I'll put this off to the side a little bit so you can see a couple of the cupcakes. Alright, and there we go. Isn't that pretty? And then you know what too? I have these little pearls from Michael's from the dollar section. Um, maybe I could use a few of these. So let me just put it. Maybe on every other one? Maybe that won't be too, too much. If 
I have a ton of these, so I don't mind using them on this pretty card. So, there we go. I just added those um, flat um, pearls, and there is my completed card. Thank you guys for watching my first video ever. Come back and see me again. Thanks.